Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you another feature which is new to Lowrance for the HDS Live and that is these four buttons down the right hand side of the screen here and what they are is they're called quick keys and basically you can assign them to any function that you want so that instead of pressing multiple times through the menu to say activate screenshot you can just press this quick key and it'll do it for you and you can customize them any way you want and you can actually customize them as a short press and a long press so the short press is obviously a quick press like that and the long press is holding for a second basically once we press those we can get into the and as you can see once we're in the menu we've got the short press on this side the pages button is actually considered a quick key as well because it only has two functions and obviously a short press of the pages key will open the home page and a long press will toggle the split screen window so those are two functions that we don't actually need to take care of with the other keys but if we choose button number one and for a short press and we actually already have a waypoint button so maybe capture a screenshot might be something handy and something else might be pause sonar I generally like to start the unit before I put my jet ski in the water when the transducer is out of the water just so that it has time to get GPS fix and all that before I'm ready to drive off and it's not actually very good to have your transducer pinging when you're out of the water so it's good to be able to stop the sonar with just a quick press of the button and for the third one I'll just read through them here so we've got capture screenshot toggle split screen window trigger man overboard find place of interest measure distance maximize split screen window pause sonar log sonar pause structure scan toggle video source system standby power pole auto up power pole auto down audio mute audio volume up audio volume down audio skip trolling motor engage trolling engage anchor Trolling engage heading hold, trolling standby, and then for the direct page sections there's favorite sonar chart video and instruments. <clears throat> so we go back up here, another feature that I will probably use quite a bit since I film my fishing and make videos for you guys is log sonar. And for the fourth one. I might make that just a full chart view it's quite handy for crossing bars and that sort of situation when you can't really stop and muck around with the screen but you want to have a good view of maybe your last trail of where you went over the bar so you don't run aground in shallow water and same over this side we have all those same features in here And as it is, I'm probably happy just keeping the short press, the short press buttons that I've got at the moment. I don't really have a use for all eight in the long press as well. But I can see if you had maybe a trolling motor attached or something like that, it would be good to maybe have trolling motor down, trolling motor up, spot lock, and all those sorts of features just at a single press of a button. And once you've customized them just press save and that's it and obviously if you want to adjust these at any point in time you can go in here go to system and then right here we have quick access keys and that'll bring you back to the same screen where you can edit any options it's these four keys on the right hand side here and they're there just to make your life a little bit easier. So I hope you enjoyed that tip. Thanks for watching.